So I look at the top four, I get an enchantment or land, and then I put them in, put it in my hand, uh, rest card at the bottom. Uh, got a fable. Um, I'm gonna crack this treasure. Fatal push your reckless storm seeker. Um, 
Blooming Marsh. Okay. Dark Boar. Whoa. He's like, wait a minute. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. Sure. Splashing for Glissa. It's only kind of like a little something. Five. Any of Sure. You got it. It is daytime. Yes. I'm gonna cycle the Zyator's Brewing Grounds. Or his own deal. Uh, play Chariot. Trigger, make two cats, pass the deck. And I don't have my cat tokens on me, so you're gonna have to deal with some anime girls. That's the best. <laughs> It's like a completely different deck all of a sudden. First part is what if you want later on? You're like, I need the other one, but they're all at the bottom. <laughs> no kidding. Um, all right, cast the fable mirror breaker. Wow, that's amazing. Trigger, get a goblin shaman. Uh, I'm gonna play the slam tags. Uh, yeah. chariot. Attack you for four. Trigger chariot. Copy goblin shaman. That's good. Pass you. I just didn't see any of these looking first game. When we played Red Green Lands. Did you just like switch decks onto the table? <laughs> Man just played three straight black lands in his Red Green deck. I keep three picks that I'm in my sleeves. <laughs> in your sleeves? Yeah, yeah. The one I'm playing, this is the seven I pick. I played against him, I played two different games. He just like randomly played a Graveyard Trespasser against me. <laughs> What's going on? Is there Sherry in your red? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sherry as well. I'm 
Okay, Four blocks. I'm gonna sack the treasure and fatal push your chariot. Take six. Uh, main phase two. Play this land tapped, and I'm gonna add good here in my hand. Yeah. Pass the turn. I'm, I'm looking. I'm over here just looking like I'm playing Jund mid range. <laughs> Fable Winter Chariot. <laughs> Combat. <coughs> yeah. Sure. So you go to twelve and I go to ten, and I'll take three. Go to seven. Yeah. Second game. Yep. Long question. Sure. Then also as well. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't have any. Man, I'll do. Yeah. Drop. Bigger. Flip. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to play Kikir. Six lands? Do I have a I feel like I'm surprised that I have to combat. Yeah, I know. Attack you for six. So I get plus one, plus one in Vigilance from my Kikir. So it I think Daybound just transforms, which means it doesn't leave the battlefield. No, if it's put I mean, if I play one on the other side. Yeah. Yes, then again. Okay, draw. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to Culligan's Command. I'm going to deal two damage to your Goblin Shaman and make you discard a card. Four blockers. 
So to three, four, we take four. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm going to activate reflection, targeting the cat token. to use the Goblin Shamans to crew, and then attack with everything at trigger. I'm going to copy it. Okay. So this is the non-attacking cat. And then these are crewing the... So, so is the chariot still at 4-4? Four four? Uh, correct. This is just... Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, it's just a... It doesn't have a creature type. How many cards do you need? Two. And then Kahira is also coming in, so it's all five. You're good, you're good. Super. I think I'll So I've got two three threes coming in at you. Better block still. Okay, so you'll take three. This cat will die. My cat, one of my cats will die. Uh, and then Cherry will die. Bone Crusher will die. This cat will die. Kick will die. Um, actually, two cats will die because of the plus one, plus one. Because uh, you blocked with a 2-2, two -two, so it has two damage marked, and then it'll lose its third toughness when this dies. Okay, so an extra cat. Yeah, so another cat will die. So I will lose all three cats. No, because you didn't block them. So you got one. Uh, you're Okay, I'm going to assume that you're not blocking the copy, so that makes the most sense, because it'll die at the end of the turn. So both of these cats die, Chariot dies, Gahira dies. Um, and then I, left, I am left with this, and then end of the turn, copy will die. Because it's the fable copy. That's the I don't think you have a way out. Because I don't think you have a way out. Oh, he played so bad. I think I have that. Yep. Double trigger. And then you're. I should have at least one, but I have a whole place. Alright, Exile Kahira. Okay, so you gain two, I'll lose two. Uh, you have no cards in hand? I'll take four to one. End of the turn. You know I have this. But I'm gonna besage you. You're good. I was doing the math like okay. No, you were correct. Sorry, I I missed. I forgot that I that you, that you could have gotten more cards in the game. But um, yeah, you were you were correct. Ready? I'm gonna thought easier. Okay, I'm gonna take your health. That's the turn. I'm going to cast Communion with Spirits. Uh, I'm going to get this Overdrawn Tomb and pass. I'll take two. Okay, I'll cast Fable. 
and sudden. No graveyard trespassers. You got it. Trigger. I will discard two. Draw two. Uh, move to combat. Attack you for two. Trigger. Get a I'll take the two. Okay. Main phase two. I'm going to cast Skull Game. It basically says draw a card, put a land into play, lands come to play untapped. The whole part of the cave is not really Okay. Alright, so draw. Um, I'm going to put a land into play untapped and pass the turn. Yep. I will take two. Go I guess they're like, uh, I don't know if it's turn four or five, but I go score. Like, you know, what it's running. Sure. Sure. All right, let's see what my deck does now. Alright, you ready? I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go to combat. Thank you for two. Trigger. I guess I can do that. Yeah. The blocky does not matter, it just, it's just still bad. Uh, okay. I'll make decisions. Okay. Alright, main phase 2. Oh, sorry, this is flipped. My bad. Um, okay, main phase 2. I'm gonna cast Beseech the Mirror, sacrificing reflection. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm gonna go get four lands. Does that mean a procedure? Or sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna go get a spell. I get to go tutor a spell, and then if because I sacrificed a card, I get to uh, cast that spell. <laughs> so I sacrifice an enchantment. Yeah, for the so you basically get the four less triggers. Correct. Okay. So I am going to cast escape shift. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to sacrifice these four lands. And I'm going to get Lotus Field, Lotus Field, Blood Crypt, and the Draw Spits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so. I am going to then use these. Uh, to float green, 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 black, black. So this is going to be my green, and this is going to be my black. Um, and then my lotus fields will trigger, and I'll have to sack all my lands. Okay. Um, do this one. I don't know. Okay, pass. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm going to use three green. So I'll go to three green. And cast. This isn't really. Why am I doing this? I'm just going to. Uh, ew, I did mess this up. I forgot to put my land first. That's okay. Um, how do I do this? Sorry, give me a second to think. This one too, I can save my land. Okay, yep, I'm fine. Alright, I'm gonna play Mystic Sanctuary. Coming to play and tap just blocking. So I will put Escape Shift on top. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use four green. So going to two green. And cast Splendid Reclamation. Uh, return all lands from my graveyard to my mana field. Okay. So I will return all of these lands from the grave to the battlefield. So these are going to be my junk lands that don't matter. And then these are the rest of the lands. These are the important lands. And this one, I guess. Okay. So Do you have I. To pay the nope. Oh, they just untapped. So I'm going to choose not to do that. 
Because you're me you're verbally saying tab, but the names are correct. That's a nice clause. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'm gonna float three black. So sorry, I have I have two triggers on the stack. I have the two low skill triggers on the stack. So I'm gonna float three black, going to five black. Then I'm gonna use two of it, go down to three. The draw scape shift. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. To activate the draw spits. Mm -hmm. This just says sacrifice draw card. So I'm sacrificing this drawing card. Okay, then I am going to make one blue and three green. So I will put a five green and one blue. You have my blue die. So I'm gonna switch here. Um, and I'm also going to make one more black, going to four black. So now this is my mana. Okay, and then low skill triggers, I'm gonna sack these lands. All right, now we're going to quickly remedy the thing that I did wrong. Um, tap four, cast escape shift. Sack my lands. I mean, obviously you could draw someone for a or something, but I think if I just pack with Phoenix, Black Lab, etc., I hope you don't have... Uh, I'm going to get one, two, 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 two three, 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 four. Stan, I lost in two. Okay, um, so I have a trigger for Mystic Sanctuary. Sorry, this is taking extra a little bit because I messed up my combo. Um, all right, so I'm triggering my Mystic Sanctuary. So it's gonna put a spell on top. I'm gonna put Splendor Declamation on top. Okay, um, I'm going to use three mana plus two black, going to two black, to activate Hidden Volcano. Yeah. Discover four. You know what discover does? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna just, so I sacrifice. I'm gonna discover four. Obviously, I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna cast this and get back all my lands again. Okay. So now, now I have a loop, and I will show you how the loop works. Um, it basically uses the mechanics that I used in this last iteration, but um, I will explain to you. Okay. So I am going to. Float the blue. Go up to two. Um, I am going to float a black. I'm going to use the blue and the black to activate. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to act, I'm going to put my triggers in the stack. So I have two Lotus Filters and a Mystic Sanctuary trigger. Mystic Sanctuary is going to put Splendid Reclamation on top. Okay. In response to Lotus Filters, triggers, I'm going to activate. I'm going to use both of these mana to activate the draw spits. Sacrifice it. Draw Splendid Reclamation. Then I'm going to float six mana. Uh, it's going to be six green. Okay. So we're going to go up to eleven green. Okay. Then all my li then I'll, my low skill triggers, I'll sack my four lands. Then I'm gonna use four of the green that I just made. So I'll go to two. I'll go to seven green now, and cast one reclamation. Okay. And then this will return all of these lands, and then I will repeat the cycle. So these two lands activate draw pits. One of these puts them on top, and then this will make this will net me two mana every time because it's four to cast one reclamation. Are you understanding? So I'm gonna make infinite mana. Okay. So the end of the end of the loop is going to be me with a billion black. We'll say black mana. A billion. Black black mana and a billion green mana um, and I am going to use that to flash back this card. Oh, this is really good. And he won that tournament. Like he didn't lose the So I'm going to cast ribbons. And then my like I can hit that one. I don't The thing is every set of one more at least one human, you know. So that's what my deck is. I had to play this my first game and figure it out. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like even if you manage to slow down like the draw hit so you can draw the thing, he still has a way to get things. Alright, 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 alright. So you wanna know 